And the Boilermakers will have their first chance to put a staple on this game. Laden it, it early there. Sends it, sends it down. It's been a roller coaster, right? I mean, it's been a roller coaster year, kind of for both teams. But as mentioned last week, Nebraska defeated number two Ira as Ellis puts that one down. They then had to meet the new number two in Ohio State post in the nation. I mean, for the Boilermakers, the away record has obviously been a poor one as Terry makes an easy work with the high post. And Ashley Stevenson puts up that mid range one, but make sure it goes all the way. Just looking at her options. Boilermakers just sitting there and. Man, defense right now. Nice pass inside to Nisley. And she does a great job of getting that one to fall. Do that. Mikowski, another play worth mentioning. She's already 4 5 and 1 on the stat sheet. Nice and sends that mid range one, sends it down. Yeah, Rashonda Jones has been big off the bench usually this year. And, you know, the, be the bench has, they have good options. And there's a foul on the shot. Back to Jones. Boilermaker's playing with a good amount of speed here. It just feels like Nebraska on the offensive end, they just have to slow down just a little bit. She has very high expectations for these freshmen because they've come in with this sort of, I won't say hype, but it kind of is. I mean, Mary Ashley Stevenson. Mikowski inside against Harper, gets big, gets the points. It's swinging, one team's hot and the other's cold. So we'll see how that plays out throughout the game. Shelley against Jones. Shelley again at the screen, sends it up, sends it down. And that's a nice three from the Aussie. You know, the senior presence of the team right now, this is going to do a lot for them going into the next couple of years. Stewart to Nisley, nice job to get that one to fall. And Stewart did a good defensive. Just trying to stick in there and stay in this game. It's a tie ball game now, and this is going to stay close, I think, for the entire time. As he goes around the screen, gives it back to Stewart. Stewart fakes the first one, gets the second one down into Madison Layden. There's a bounce pass, which ends up bouncing just to herself. She able to collect it. Ellis, space on the wing, sends it up, sends it down. And the Aussie gets us going in this second half. And Shelley brings it back, and Nebraska need to get some points going in the second half. And that's a good way to do it. Nisley gets the three to fall. Moriarty just selling herself against Layden. The border makers, a bit more pressure on the outside, but they're gonna take that pressure, Nebraska. And they're going to send it back initially by the Boilermakers. Shelley goes inside to Markowski. And Ellis got drawn in there and got away with it, though. Markowski again and puts it up. And really just, I mean, she's physical. She can finesse past you. She's athletic. She can shoot the three like she's about to right now. And does just that. Markowski, it's a three. And what a game she's having now. Surprised myself. There wasn't a foul call there, but... It isn't, ends up just being an air ball. Ellis drives, gets the foul, gets the points. And the Boilermakers is starting to wait back up here. An in-between kind of game where no one can really get a feel for it, and it's just one of those games that's just not going your way. Yeah, Nebraska just taking those chances. Coley sends that up, sends it down. Terry finds Jayla Smith, who sends that up. Again, shooting. You can hear from the crowd the just you know, the frustration, just not happening, but Coley. Once again, gets some more points. Wasn't able to help it. That was quite a handoff, but apparently it was fine. Madison Layden, a second attempt at a three. That time it goes down. She knows that if she can just have her right there, she can't push through her or else she's going to foul out, and that's going to be a big loss for Nebraska. And it drives. This time doesn't go under the hoop, but goes up to it. In the green column. Yeah, and I can understand why Katie Gerald's frustrated about those types of fouls because not only are you losing as another shot is made by Nebraska to add three more to the total. Cruel to Coley. Out to Shelley. Shelley sends it up, sends it down. It wiggles, but it falls. Or you could just get back in it, but then immediately Nebraska just hits a big shot and just not much you can do. Smith sends that up, sends it down. Big play by Jayla Smith. And the Boilermakers answer. They could have used some help on that inbound. It, just having one person in the backcourt there to try and help with the inbound is silly. Ooh. And Markowski. And it looks like Markowski just slapped Layden in the face. I'm not sure. And for Nebraska, they're going to be heading Northwestern. And you can watch that one. Big 10 Plus on February 20th, Tuesday night. That's all they wrote here.